Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video we're going to be going through my locker again in Fortnite. I've been waiting to do this video for a long time, I've been holding it off for about a month now. I just felt like I think I needed at least a month to like, you know, maybe get a few more skins in there, a few more cosmetics in there, you know, to before I do another one, because really there was like this, or I had like basically the same thing as the last one. So, um, yeah. I do these at the end of almost every season. We got like a one more month of the season. I thought I'd go ahead and do one because I won't feel, I won't feel like doing it later. Trust me. So we're gonna start off with a uh, Whistle Warrior. We're gonna do the skin. We're gonna do skins. I'm not gonna do bat length because I mean there's no point. Skins, pickaxes, and we can go through gliders and wraps. All right. So. Actually, no. I don't think there's any point going through gliders either. So I'm just gonna go through skins, pickaxes, and wraps. All right. So we start. We got Whistle Warrior. Very, very nice skin. Uh, Whiplash, don't use it very much. Scarlet Defender, very clean green skin. Definitely worth the price. We're gonna, oh yeah, by the way, you guys, we are starting at the bottom today. Usually I start with my legendaries, but we're gonna end with the legendaries for skins today. So I got Red Jade, just bought this one recently. Recon Ranger, also bought this one recently. Very worth the, very much worth the price. PJ Patroller, it's got its different edit styles. You got the default, the camo, you got the pattern and you got the festa very nice skin i don't care for this style i think my favorite one is either the pattern or the camo very nice um so we got the commando very very nice skin if you have not picked this one up yet you're missing out it's a very clean classic skin dominator uh i really don't care for it i probably would refund it if i had a limited amount of refunds i'll definitely refund this one maniac very nice skin the Mark Marauder. If you do not, okay, it's a banner skin. If you do not own a banner skin, they are probably the most worth it items in the game because you can literally match it with almost any bad one, any pickaxe. Wor most worth it item in the game, and it's only 800 V bucks. Pick one up next time if, they come out if you do not have one. Match point. Nogops. No, I'm not. I'm not an OG from season one. I ended up buying this thing when it came back in season seven because um, I didn't play in season one. I started in season three. But very nice skin. Bunny Moon, eh, it's alright. Bullseye, very nice skin. The Bolt skin is a very, very nice skin. It doesn't come out very often anymore, but it's a very, very nice skin. If you watched my, one of my streams, you would know that I did, that I do use this skin a lot. Brute Navigator, very, it's, it's okay. I wish I bought the female. Aura, probably one of the best skins in the game, that, without a doubt. Most tryhard, too, probably. The Assault Trooper. Now we're moving on to the, the rares. We have the Trilogy, latest PlayStation skin pack, uh, skin. Uh, Turk vs. Riptide, well, it's a, I don't care for it. Volley Girl, I, it's all right. Wave Breaker, it's, it's, it's okay. Not the best starter skin we got, starter pack skin. Waypoint, you have all of its styles. You can do the, um, mat, the mask and hat off. You can do the, mat, yeah. And then you can do the blue or the green. I prefer, personally, prefer the green, but that's just me. Um, I have the Wooly Warrior, probably the latest skin that I've gotten. I have not used it yet, and I don't think I will. I think the head is a little bit too bulky for me, but, you know, if you like that stuff, go right ahead. The Paradigm, the one skin that I bought because it's never coming back, and it actually is so it's much better version of the Scientist and Visitor. Survival Specialist, very clean skin. Sunbird, very nice. Spark Plug, also very nice. These are all very nice skins. Uh, Snorkel Ops, it's, it's not as cool as it was, if you ask me. Skull Ranger, very, 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 very worth its skin. Uh, my only problem is, is whenever Skull Trooper and her came back, she did not get an extra style. But, um, I'm really hoping that she'll get one in the year of 2020 Fortnite Marriage. Munitions Expert, Prodigy, don't really care for it. Remedy vs. Toxin. Both styles, or both versions of her are very nice, and if you didn't know, she does have a purple style coming out soon. Probably the best style. This this style right here is, oh my god, it is freaking awesome. Very nice. The Riley skin. The very, it's basically like a different version of Waypoint, except she doesn't have like the heavy metal stuff, like the heavy stuff on, because she's not a cop, but very nice skin. The Ripley vs. Sludge, it's pretty big. The Ruby skin, very worth it. Such a such a nice skin. Midfield Maestro. Uh, so I bought this skin instead of a female. Soccer skin whenever they first came out. Very 
mistakenly. Uh, Maki Master, very nice skin. The Laguna skin, probably one of the best starter bags. Probably the best one, if you ask me. Jump Shot, it's basically LeBron James. Journey vs. Hazard, fight. Insight, wait, let me check right here. Nope, doesn't look like Journey's getting another style. Insight, probably would refund that one. Dynamo, very nice skin. Such a try-hard skin, but it, it's a very nice, it's very nice. Finey's Finisher, this I, did, I eventually did go buy a female soccer skin, but that was after they became popular, or that was after they were try-hard. First Strike Specialist, also, by the way, with the soccer skins, if they come back out, definitely buy one if you do not own one. They are also very worth it. They, you can, you have so many color schemes you can do, use. Like, my favorite one is probably the Germany one, or the New Zealand one. Very, very nice. Um, you have the Fortune skin. Very, very nice skin. Frosted Flurry. This one came out recently. Very, it's actually really nice. I don't really care. I don't wear the... The, I don't wear it without a bat bling because if you put a bat bling on, the bow is not there. That's why I wear it with a bat bling. It's I don't really care with care with it care about it with the bat with the bow there. But if you put a bat bling on it, the bow would not be there. So just let you know about that. The stuff will let me go. The hot zone. This is a part of the zone war set. Very nice. The dream favorite skin in the game. If you ask me, it was probably the best skin that came out in 2019, without a doubt. The Double Cross skin, very, very nice skin. Danger Zone, probably the better skin of the Zone Wars bundle that came out. Very nice. Cryptic, I really bought it from the Code Codename Elf, no, I'm not an OG. I bought it in the Polar Legends uh, pack that came out. Uh, I do like both styles. Carbon Commando, another PlayStation skin. We got three more rares. We got Bright Bomber. Breakpoint, probably the better version of Waypoint if you ask me, but that's, that's okay. Blue Team Leader, it's actually a very clean skin. Alright, now we're going to move on, oh no wait, take that back. Dark Jonesy is technically a rare skin. Dark Jonesy is a very, this is the skin, the dark skin that actually surprised me. Because it's actually become, it actually came to be one of my f favorite dark skins in the game. It's a very nice skin. Alright, now we're moving on to the purples. We have Zoe, don't care for it, we're not going to talk about it. Uh, the Yonder, it's okay. Um, Trog, don't hate it. I mean, Trog, don't hate it. Trog, I do hate it. Such, such an ugly skin. Vega, probably the one of the most disappointing Battle Pass skins. It's not saying it's a bad skin, it's just... Ugh, it's White Out, very nice skin. Wild, it's a good, it's a good starter pack skin. Wingman, don't care for it. X-Lord, it's definitely the better version of Rust Lord, if you ask me. Tilt to Technique, I'd honestly would rather use the Technique skin. The original, the, the original, the original one, but the Ace probably one. Actually, I think the Laguna is probably the second best. I think the Ace is probably the best starter pack we've gotten, without a doubt. Technique, the better version of the Tilted Technique. So, Synapse, very nice skin. The Sun Strider, the Summit Strider, the Sledgehammer, the Snowfoot, yes, and the Snow Strike. I own both of these. These are probably the most underrated skins in the game. No, I'm not saying that I love them, but I don't hate them. Like they're they're very definitely nice. But if you were gonna pick up one of these, at least one of these, I would definitely pick up the Snow Strike and not the Snowfoot. But you know, I, the Sparkle Supreme. If you ask me, it's better than Sparkle Specialist. I'm not hating on Sparkle Specialist. I think I just prefer the way Sparkle Supreme looks. Squad Leader, Stratus, Skull Trooper with his new white style. It's pretty nice. I still don't use it. Sidewinder, very nice. Shadow Ops, definitely one of the best skins. It's amazing. Sergeant Winter, Rust Lord, the Rook skin. Peely, ah, we're not going to talk about it. Powder, the Psycho Bandit from the Borderlands crossover that Fortnite had last season. The Red Strike, another starter pack. It's actually a very nice one. Probably the third best, if you ask me. It's Redline, definitely a clean skin. Rogue Agent, first starter pack, but it's not the rarest. Onesie, Nightshade, the Neo Versa. Yes, I have picked up the Neo Versa, and I do very much enjoy the skin. It's a very nice skin. Moonwalker, Mogul Master USA and Mogul Master Canada. I did pick these up, and yes, these are probably the best ones. If I was gonna choose another Mogul Master to get, it would probably be. Germany, because one, I am part German, and two, um, it's, it's, 
basically. It's so much different from the other Mogul Masters because half of them are like blue. So, I mean. The Lucky Rider, very underrated skin. I love this skin so much. The Luminos, very nice skin. Master Key, also very nice. Maverick, it's cool. Mayor Marauder, definitely probably one of the best Christmas skins. Mission Specialist, definitely better ever since he got his new styles. I don't know when he got those. Lieutenant, Le Lieutenant Evergreen, part of the win uh, Winter Fest thing that they had. It's <laughs> I haven't used the skin yet, but it's pretty funny. Huntress, eh. Grind, eh. Globe Shaker, it's actually a very nice skin, not even gonna lie. Giddy Up, eh. Gold Trooper, yes, I think a Gold Trooper, very, very, very nice skin. Dust is okay. Elite Agent, probably in my top three favorite skins of the game, without a doubt. Best Battle Pass, if you ask me, it is the best Battle Pass skin, probably ever. Just saying. Ember, the Eternal Voyager, the Ether or Ether, I'm going to say it's Ether, Fable, DJ Yonder. Demi, very nice. Delirium, I bought him for his bat bling. His bat bling is, oh my god, it's amazing. Cobalt. Clutch, very nice, very nice skin. Cameo versus Chick. I hate both of these styles. Don't hate on me, but I just don't like them. They're not me. Battlehawk. Blitz, yes, these are also, if these come back out, definitely pick them up. They are so worth it. Look how many styles there are, dude. You can literally, there are so many styles can choose from. If you're a Patriots fan, or a Rams fan, it's so worth it. Uh, Blue Striker, Bunker Jonesy, Bunny Brawler, The Burnout, Archetype, Alpine Ace Korean, I bought this one, uh, actually, I believe when they, the second time they came out. It's pretty nice. 8-Ball versus Scratch, I wonder if he's getting another edit style, no he's not. Eightball vs. Scratch. Also, if you didn't know, if you put on the um, white style, you get this corrupted version. The more you use it, the more corrupted he becomes. It's actually really cool. Not even gonna lie. So where are we at? Alright, so we got... Now we're moving on to the Star Wars skins. This is the latest collaboration Fortnite had. We have the Sith Trooper. Probably the second best outfit out of the collaboration. The Ray skin. Probably the third best. It's a very clean skin. The Kylo Ren. I did not think the skin was going to come out, but it is probably beyond a shadow of a doubt the best Star Wars skin that we've got. Very clean skin. Um, we have the Imperial Stormtrooper. Very, very nice skin. The Finn. It's actually a very clean skin. Shadowbird. Shadow Scully. I prefer it over the original. Don't fight me. I just, I just do. Prefer the Shadow Arc of the original, too. Perfect Shadow. Frozen and Fish Stick, I do not own the original, and I'm very really sad about it, but I really hope when it comes back out, I'll get it. Frozen Nogobs, very, it's actually really nice. Devour, we're not going to talk about you. Uh, Molten Omen, very nice. Black Widow outfit. Star Lord outfit. The Dark Knight movie outfit. Catwoman comic book outfit. Batman comic book outfit. Dark Wild Card. Dark Red Knight, probably the best style of the Red Knight, and I do own all Red Knights. Dark Power Cord, definitely the better better version of the Power Cord. Vendetta, very disappointing. Ontario Hunter Skin War Paint, Wild Card, Zenith, Zero, Dark Bomber, really good skin. Valor, Ultima Knight, Tricera Ops, The Visitor, The Scientist, hate them both. The Reaper, Singularity is very nice. Serana is pretty nice. Spider Knight's really nice. Tempest is really nice. Ice King is probably the best Tier 100 skin that we've gotten, if you ask me, in my opinion, let me, let me say that, it is my opinion, probably the best Tier 100 skin we've gotten, but, um, it's very bulky, but it is the best one, because I freaking love these styles, this one's okay, this one's really cool, but if you ask me, my favorite is definitely the black style, it is amazing, if you ask me, the Prisoner, the Sentinel, Ruin, Rocks, Rose Team Leader, Red Knight, there's the original Red Knight. Raven, the most hyped up skin in the game. Malice, I want to refund it by the way. Omega, Season 4, Power Core, the original. Ragnarok, Raptor, I love his new style by the way. If you win next time Raptor comes back out and there is the style available, definitely get it. Very nice. Ravage.
damage. Definitely better than Raven. Links. Lugs. Most disappointing, Tier Hunter skin. I'm not saying it's a bad skin. It's just, it shouldn't be Tier Hunter. John Wick. Definitely better than the Reaper. It's, it's John Wick. Hybrid. The Glow skin. Fusion. Probably the second best Tier Hunter skin. It's actually really clean. Deadfire. Very underrated. Dire. Drift. Enforcer. Fallen. Love Ranger. Fate. Dark Voyager. Dark Vanguard. Definitely a better version of Dark Voyager, if you ask me. I love the Dark Vanguard. It's just... It's very nice. Cuddle Team Leader and the Criterion. I want to refund both of these. The only reason I bought Cuddle Team Leader is for her back bling. Catalyst. Very... Probably the best remade skin in the game, if you ask me. Just saying. Carbide. Molten Valkyrie. Arachne. Arc. Battlehound. Blackheart, Calamity, Molten Battlehound, Frozen Red Knight, Frozen Raven, and the Frozen Love Ranger. Very, 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 very nice. So, now we got through the skins. That was a lot. We can take a deep breath now. We are going to run through the pickaxes. We're going to start at the top. We're going to start with the Dark Axe. Probably one of the best pickaxes in the game. I don't care. You can hate me on that. Very nice. Dark Strikers, they're, they're okay. The Thunder Crash, pretty nice. Ray's Quarterstaff, pretty cool. The Riot Control Baton, very nice. The Eva, Dragon's Claw. Controller, Candy Axe, probably another one of the best. Astral Axe, very nice. Vibro Scythe, I have a little something to say about this scythe. I ended up getting this scythe for 200 V-Bucks. Now I know what you're saying. How did you get it for 200 V-Bucks? Well, back when Kylo Ren came back out, um, you had, you can get, the, you can get the pickaxes separate for 800 V-Bucks, and I had already owned the other two, Raised Quarter Staff and the Control Baton. If you bought the bundle, and you already owned two of the originals, and this was the only one you needed left, you could get it for 200 V-Bucks instead of buying it by itself for 800. So, you already know, I bought the 200. Flawless. Fusion side oh, really, really nice. Harmonic Axe. Ice Scepter. The Mech Axe. The Merry Mint Axe. Love this pickaxe, dude. Rift's Edge. It probably should be a legendary pickaxe, if you ask me. Reckoning. Rainbow Smash. Permafrost should also be a legendary pickaxe. Very nice. Oracle Axe. Onslaught. The Scorcher. Scratch Mark. Skull Sickle, Sludge Hammer, Swag Smasher, Trusty Number Two, um, Molten Strikers, Frozen Axe, Cat's Claws, Batman Pickaxe. It's actually a very nice pickaxe. Not even gonna lie. Vox, Vanquisher. It's huge. So I don't use it. Widow's Bite. It's an amazing pickaxe. I'm actually going to go ahead and favorite that right now. It's a very nice pickaxe. Shadow Strikers. The Abominable Axe. The Anarchy Axe. It's pretty it's okay. Angler Axe. The Balloon Axe. We're not going to talk about it. Crowbar. Cosmic Cleavers. The Bunker Bash. <coughs> Sorry about that. Boulder, ba the Boulder Breakers. Bat Symbol. <coughs> Bank Shots. Dread. Empire Axe, Fang Saws, the Gale Force, Guiding Glow, Highlight, Strikers, Med Axe, Lug Axe, Low and Slow, Lollipop, Lockpick, Ice Pop, Party Crashers, Peppermint Pick, part of the um, Winterfest event that's going on right now, Plunge Up, the Pneumatic Twin, I guess that's how you say that? I have no idea, the Positron, the Psycho Buzz Axes, they're actually really nice. Uh, Scepter. Sawtooth. Ripe Rivers. Revoker. Renegade Rollers. Reaper. Or the Scythe, as people call it. Scarlet Scythe. Shortbread Slicers. I have I am yet to use these. I have not used them yet. Smash Up. Snake Bite. Snowy. Sparkle Scythe. The 
Vision. Probably one of the most worth the pickaxes in the game. If you do not have it, pick it up next time it comes out. Virtue. Swell Strikers. Studded Axe. Star Strike. Very, very nice pickaxe if you own Dream. If you own Dream, this is the perfect pickaxe to go with it. Spectral Axe. Web Breaker. Guardian Axe. Part of the um, Marvel set this went with uh, Star Lord. Basic Basher. Birthday Slice. Chew Toy. Cookie Cutter. Mean Streak. Inverted Blade. Icicle. Icebreaker. Fresh Cut. Very nice pickaxe. Very clean. The Driver. Also very clean. Old Woody. Rose Glow. Stripe Slicer. The Ultra Sight. And then you shouldn't have. And then you have the original pickaxe. Now we are going to move on to the last thing that I said we were going to talk about here. And this is the wraps. I do own quite a bit of these. So uh, let's go. Dark Angular Ships. Very nice. Kevin Wrap. Magma Wrap. Probably one of the best wraps in the game. Radiant Blue. Part of the PlayStation set. Shadow Angular Shift. The Array. Molten Angular Shift. Tidal Wave. Storm. Slurp. 8-Ball. Angler Flow. I probably shouldn't be going through these on that. I should probably be going through these on um, my uh, the scar. So, Arctic Camo. Big Flake. The Burning Glyph. I freaking love this wrap. It looks so freaking cool. Carbon and Gold. Disco. Cursed. Cuddle Hearts. Corrupted. I also freaking love this wrap. It looks so cool. Constellation. This wrap just came out and is probably one of the best wraps in the game. No questions asked. I just got gifted it, right? And I freaking love this thing. Shout out to my friend Electric. Clockwork. Divine. Dragon Scales. Driftwood. Durburger. The Enigma Wrap. EQ. Forever Tuesday. I bought it just because I love tacos and it's 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 funny. Fiend. Festive Paper. Falling Snow. The Falling Leaf. Eternal Zero. I this is definitely another really great wrap. Fractal Zero. Fractal Zero. Another amazing wrap. Gemstone. Golden Clouds. This is the rarest wrap in the game. Actually. If you did not know, Golden Clouds is the rarest wrap in the game. It was a bit overpriced because they did not know how many V-Bucks they wanted to sell it for. If they sold it for 600 instead of 500 it was a little bit expensive. But I still bought it, and it is the rarest wrap in the game. And I've done the research, and I do know. And it's a very, very nice wrap. Heat. Hex Wave. The Indigo Ice. The Red Line. If you watch the World Cup on YouTube for like 30 minutes, I believe, you got the Red Line wrap. Radiant Zero. Prismatic Edge. Power Surge. New Year 2020. It's a very clean wrap, actually. Probably my next wrap that I'm going to get is probably the Fireworks wrap if it comes back out. Maximum Grift. Right, we're not going to talk about it. Ripley. <coughs> Scavenger. The Snugs Shine. Sunprint. I hate it. Tiger Stripes. I hate it. <coughs> the Zev or Vex, however you say that. If you say it backwards, it's Vex. Widow's Web. <coughs> well wrapped. Ultra Red. Turbulent. Very nice wrap. Uh, Tropical Camera, Assassin, Blue Metallic, Bookie Man, very nice, very clean, Cameo, hate it, Candy Cane, very nice, Chick, Fingerprint, Emote Camo, Digital Grayscale, I bought it just because I love, like, grayscales, I like, like, scales and stuff like that, that's, like, mili militaristic, I guess that's the word, yeah, Diamonds, Converge, Gloves, Frosted, Green toy and gray toy. Hearts. Hot and cold. Jacko pattern. Red plastic. Pink splatter. The pineapple. Neon tropics. Mayhem. Knighted. Riptide. Scan line. An amazing wrap. Pick it up if you don't have it. Sentinel. Slippery. Spades. Two tilted. And then the Valentine wrap. Um, so yeah guys, that is my locker, um, the things that I should show you, um, if you guys want to see if there's certain videos you guys would like to see, or co another combo video or something, just let me know in the comments what you would like to see, 
Also, uh, leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, and always please turn on that uh, notification bell so you never miss a video. With that being said, guys, I'll see you guys later.